In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create an infinitely looping drippy tunnel in After Effects without using a single plugin. Let's get to the tutorial. Let's begin by creating a new 1920x1080 composition, 30 frames per second and 5 seconds for the duration. I'm naming it Render and then clicking OK. Then select the Shape tool and you want to select the Polygon tool because it allows you to further customize the shape compared to something like a Rectangle tool. Then make sure you, your fill is set to None and then your stroke should be set to a solid color of say 20 pixels. Then from the center of the composition, holding control and shift keys, click and drag to create a simple polygon. After you've created the shape, open the transform dropdown and set the anchor point to be 0, 0. Then open the polystar 1, then transform polystar 1, and make sure that the position is also set to a 0, 0. After you do those, uh, then select the shape, and using the align tab, align it in the center. So you want to have everything zeroed out and right in the center before proceeding to the next step. And the next step is to select the contents for the shape, make sure it is highlighted, then click the add button and add the repeater. And this creates a bunch of duplicates as you can see. So open the repeater one properties, you have the number of copies here. So let's set that to 50 to get a bunch of copies. And then let's open the transform repeater one properties. And here by default the position will be set to 100, so make sure it is set to zero. that will put it right at the center. That's why we don't see it at the moment. And using the scale, you can see if we start to decrease the scale, we get this 3D perspective. And by changing the scale, you can control the spacing between each shape. I'm going to set this to 70%. That should look fine. So let's bring the, uh, the shapes closer to us to fill up the composition. So for that, we will use the offset for the repeater. And I suggest you hold control key before you start dragging the, the offset because otherwise it'll go crazy. So just hold control and start decreasing the offset until you fill up the composition. So let's set the offset to minus 6 and uh, make sure you are at the beginning of the timeline. Then create a keyframe for the offset at minus 6. Then move to the end of the timeline and here we want to create like a perfect seamless loop, right? So in order to do that, I'll just make it simple for you. Uh, there should be a difference of 4 points between the offset keyframes that you create. So pretty much if your first keyframe is minus 6, your, your second keyframe should be either minus 10 or minus 2, right? Depending on which direction you want the tunnel to flow. So I'll set it to minus 10 because I want the tunnel to be zooming in. And uh, well, also one important thing is the, the second keyframe that you set at the end of the timeline. Make sure to drag it one frame forward, just like I do right here. And that should give you the perfect seamless loop, meaning that we shouldn't see a point where the composition starts playing over. And that is exactly what we want. And if you followed all the steps correctly and you've set up the perfect seamless loop, you can come back to the repeater properties, right? The transform repeater one, you have all different options here. And by changing, say, position, uh, as you start dragging, you can see that it gives you a completely different perspective. And, you know, you can drag it into any direction that you want. Also the scale, again, you can play around with the values and see what fits your needs best. Also you can increase the rotation and that gives an entire tunnel like a nice twist and that could also look very trippy. So it really comes down to your personal preference. You have all these different settings available that you can play around with. And the whole reason why we chose the polygon tool over the rectangle tool, if we open the polystep path, uh, drop down you have the number of points here so if we set this to three you get the triangle if you set it to four here we get the rectangle and you know you can customize the number of points if we set this really high like 100 you get the circle or the ellipse so you get the idea really really customizable in this regard so once you've built up the tunnel that you're happy with you can add some finalizing touches such as like a background so go to layer new solid I'll name this BG and go for the dark gray color. Click OK. Make sure to drag the solid below the shape. Then go to layer, new adjustment layer. Go to the effects and presets. Search for glow. And add the like a regular stylized glow on top of the adjustment layer. Then select the glow. Press Ctrl D to duplicate it. For the second glow, set glow radius to be 40 and glow intensity 2.5. Then go to effects and presets again and search for noise. Then add noise to the adjustment layer, set amount of noise to 6%, uncheck use color noise, and this will help blend everything together. And in case if you want to add colors to the shape, you can select it and change the color stroke to any color of your choice. It is super simple and straightforward. Now it is up to you to customize the composition to get the desired look. 
And this was the basic concept I wanted to share with you guys. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something new in this tutorial. If you did, do not forget to leave a like. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.